welcome back to my channel and welcome to another vlog and happy Saturday. So it's already 1.48 p.m. right now and I woke up pretty early because I had to get ready to do a little podcast with Sean Go. So I'm sure you guys already watch his content but he is another sneaker YouTuber I would say and we did a little podcast and I feel like that should already be up so I'll make sure to link it down below so you guys can check it out. We did also a video on YouTube and you can also listen to the podcast. Um, but anyway, I'm really excited right now because I just got the most amazing delivery. Look at this, it is a huge box of cookies. So we just have to do an unboxing. So let's unbox this. I had to show you guys because look at this, it looks so good. So it's from a Melbourne based company called Cookie Dunks. I've had their cookies once before and it was ridiculously delicious. I'm so happy to have these again. So if you guys want to order your own, here are their details. Highly, highly recommend them. They are so good. And you know, these are the flavors that I got. So this one here is a taro one. This one, the flavors are usually on the underside of the cookie, but I don't want to break it. So I think that's sort of like a mocha one. There's a red velvet, banoffee, raspberry white chocolate. This is a Biscoff one. I love anything that's a Biscoff flavor. So I'm super excited for this. This one is bubble tea, matcha, cookies and cream. And then this one here, hold on, let me just check. By the way, these cookies are massive. I don't know if you can tell but that is the size of the cookie. I just wanted to see at the back, they've written the flavor, chai latte. And then, oh no, I've messed up the presentation. There's one over here as well. Um, all right, I'm not gonna mess it up. And then this one is, let's see, triple chocolate. So yeah, I guess I'll do a little taste test because these look incredible when you like split them in half and they have this oozy like center and it's just, it's just great and you guys need to order them for yourself as well. So I've only had coffee today and I haven't even had breakfast or lunch. I guess it's lunchtime right now, but I really want to do a quick taste test to show you guys. So this is the Biscoff flavor one and I really want to show you guys what it looks like on the inside. Hopefully you guys get a good view. I'm so excited for this. And this is what it looks like on the inside. They are definitely very, very indulgent and you shouldn't be eating <laughs> that many cookies in a day. You can also heat this up in the oven so that the center is a little bit more gooey. Let's just give this a quick taste test. good you guys I wish you can taste it if you guys are in Melbourne you need to order this right away if you have like a party I feel like this would be so great to bring but even if you're like me and you live by yourself um, you can just eat lots of cookies mmm so good this is the matcha flavored one and you can see there is the matcha Kit Kat on top I just want to eat all of them but I shouldn't and I won't. But anyway, I feel like I need to make myself a more substantial lunch instead of eating cookies for lunch. So I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow because I don't have anything too exciting planned today. So yeah, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's been a few days since that last clip you saw, which by the way, Melbourne is back under lockdown for the next seven days, which I'm not mad about. 
But um, I thought I'll just uh, come on camera to do a quick little unboxing because I placed an order with Farfetch last week and you guys know how fast your shipping is so my first two packages just arrived i got a few things in that order but depending on where it gets shipped from they get shipped separately if that makes any sense so let's just go ahead and open the first parcel i removed the like shipping slip so that i don't have to do that little sensor thing um, when i'm editing the video and my address is there for everyone to see um, but yeah, I didn't even look at the slip because usually they will say where that item is from But I thought I just want it to be a surprise <laughs> for myself Even though I know what items I picked up um, I think I can guess what this is But let's just go ahead and open this up I remember someone commenting saying I should not like cut the box this way I should cut it away from me just in case So I should remember to do that But let's just go ahead and open the very first parcel so I just gotta rip this oh that was not very good okay and then in here let me show you guys did I just show you my address <laughs> okay I have to censor that part out but this is definitely a candle that I ordered and the box smells so nice this was shipped from Vela of Vila shop. Wow, I'm doing such a bad job pronouncing this. And it's from Italy and the box smells so so good because it is a candle from a cold wall. Look at this. I actually was just listening to a really old podcast about Samuel Ross, who is the founder and creative director for A Cold Wall, and it is just such a good listen. If you guys are interested, I'll link that down below. If you want to know a bit more about the brand, obviously A Cold Wall has been around for a while now, but the story about how he started and he used to work with Virgil and stuff is just super, super interesting. So I highly recommend that you guys check out that podcast. But I got the candle, and I'm pretty sure on the Farfetch site, they have like a blue colored one and wait i'm trying to open this i think i have to like cut this little label and as i was saying i'm pretty sure they had like a blue colored one the one i got is in this sort of terracotta color and it is a really nice sort of woody rose scent and i'm not a person that usually goes for rose scented anything or candles this was kind of a blind buy for me because i just really wanted to try out the a cold wall candles i know he always has a black candle or like the jars black and i'm pretty sure that one's unscented so it's just a really nice item to have at home as a decor piece but i saw that they had like scented candles and i really really love candles so I'm just looking online for the notes for the candle and it says top notes rosebud saffron duck rum mint notes lily of the valley white fig spicy accord and base notes musk velvet no vet vetiver <laughs> and white cedar and I think it is a really lovely scent I can definitely smell a bit of spice in there but it's very like warm and comforting. It makes like such a good decor piece. Like I said, I bought it purely for the color of the jar. Just because I think it suits my home decor a bit better. Even though there's not really much of a interior design thing <laughs> happening in my apartment. But I thought it's cute and I am so pleased with this scent. And I don't think you guys know this, but I actually really love candles. And I thought I'll just show you. I have all my candles right here. I'll just show you some of the candles I've been using recently. So these are some of the Boy Smells candle. And I actually got onto Boy Smells because of Farfetch. They stock this brand on their site. And they kindly gifted me this for Christmas last year. And ever since then, I've been really into Boy Smells candle. So this one is less. Well, really bad pronunciation, um, but it is more of a fruity candle. So the notes are blackcurrant, peach blossom, jasmine rice, cardamom, and white cedar. Like I said, this is more of a fruity one, but it's not like super sweet or candy smelling, if that makes any scent. Scent. Sense. 
<laughs> and then the one I picked up recently is Kush. This was a recommendation from a friend because when I posted this candle on my Instagram story, she recommended that I have to try Kush and I really love it. It is such a nice fresh scent. And then the other candle I have here, I'm sure you guys are all familiar with this scent. It is Centel 26 by Lalabo. And this scent, I feel like I need to be in a very particular mood. It is quite a strong scent and at this stage I think everyone knows what Centel smells like and to me it just smells like a like a fancy person but it is also quite strong so it's a very nice woody deep scent and yeah I really like it and even if you don't burn the candle when I walk past it I can definitely smell it um, so I don't burn this as often but yeah I'm super excited to try out this a cold wall candle. I'll make sure to list and link everything that I mentioned in this video in the description bar below and Farfetch has kindly given me a new discount code which will give you guys 10% off um, majority of things on the Farfetch site so you don't have to just use it on the items that I'm talking about you can use it on like other stuff as well so yeah I hope you guys use that code it is valid for one month so make sure you take advantage of that so the other parcel that i want to open is also part of my order from farfetch let me just open this up currently farfetch has this section where they're highlighting black designers so i think that's such a great thing and of course you guys know virgil like i mentioned before Samuel Ross from A Cold Wall worked with Virgil in the past and yeah, do you know what? Even though I've seen this book online everywhere, I actually never like flipped through the book in person. Well, none of my friends have this book. So yeah, I'm just going to open this up. Okay, shall we do a quick flip through together? Ooh. Oh my gosh, look at that. How cool. I'm very excited that I finally have this because a lot of my books are definitely like sneaker related, course book, art books, and then like cooking books. I don't have an actual coffee table <laughs> to put this on, but I'm really glad I picked this up from the site and it came super quickly as usual. So yeah, I am going to slowly go through this book and I've just been really into... Um, <laughs> Sorry, not related to the book at all, but I've just been really into podcasts lately and I love the Hype Beast podcast with Jeff Staple and he interviews like, you know, prominent figures in like different industries, whether it's sneaker design, uh, actors and stuff. I'm also obsessed with the Complex Sneaker podcast and they have a new episode every Saturday and they had one today, so it was really good to listen to while I was on my walk. And then one more thing I wanted to tell you guys to watch is this video on YouTube by GQ Japan and they interviewed Verbal. So if you guys didn't know, Verbal is the co-founder of Ambush. So Ambush is founded by Verbal and Yoon. They're like partners. And yeah, it was such a great video and he had some amazing stories about how he knows Kanye and Nigo and Pharrell and that whole crew and yeah I highly highly recommend that you guys watch that video I'll make sure to link it down below it was super interesting and just super cool to listen to the stories behind each sneakers that he had and you know all the people that he's met being in the industry um, but yeah I feel like I'm going on a <laughs> full tangent um, but yeah that was my quick little unboxing and now I've made a small mess um, but yeah, I actually have a few more items in my Farfetch haul, which I will obviously share with you guys. I'm just waiting for them to arrive, but I reckon they'll arrive in the next few days because I already got these ones here. So over the next few days, I'm sure I'll receive the other stuff, which I can't really remember what I got now. I actually got this new pair of sunglasses from Off-White and I'm very excited for them. Um, and a few other things. So, uh, right now... 
I guess I'll just clean up this mess. I don't really have anything all that exciting planned today. Like I mentioned before, we're back under lockdown. I do have a clip when I had dinner with Beatrice the other day prior to this lockdown, so I guess I'll show you guys. We had Korean food. It was really, really delicious. It was like the army stew. I don't know the Korean name for that dish, but it was really nice, especially now that it's winter here in Australia. It's just really comforting to have something like that. And then the clip before that, you saw Lawrence and I, we had dinner at this Japanese barbecue place and then we had dessert. Uh, dessert was just like so-so but dinner was really great and I was actually meeting with Lawrence because I am very inspired to do a video that's kind of like the complex sneaker shopping kind of video. I'm sure you guys all watch that. I love Joe LaPuma and I just love that whole series and I've been wanting to do a video like that for a really long time but the problem is like not many stores will let you film in their store. Did I just show you guys my address again? Okay. <laughs> I was trying to avoid that because that whole like censoring thing and like tracking... Wait, you can't see my address here but when I'm editing it takes such a long time for me to like do that bit because I'm always like moving around. Um, but back to my sneaker shopping video, there's not many stores that will allow you to film in their store. So I've been wanting to do that video for a long time, but I just have to find a store that will allow me to do that. But I think that would be a really fun video to shoot. Let me know in the comments below if that is something you guys would like to watch because I really like watching sneaker shopping videos. So yeah, that is the plan. But anyway, for now, I'm just going to put my stuff away and obviously if I have anything exciting to show you guys, I will. But I am just planning to stay at home for the rest of the day. And also, I want to show you guys, sorry, very random. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that photo I posted with these peonies. And they were actually pink, so I've never bought peonies before. I bought this bunch of flowers purely for that photo that I posted to match my soft vision 500s and now they've changed colors so you know as the peonies age they sort of become this pale yellow and I still think they're really pretty this bunch of flowers was so expensive I didn't know flowers were so expensive and that tiny little bunch was $85 did I get ripped off? I have no idea. I was just really desperate and I just really wanted to buy pretty pink flowers. Um, but anyway guys, well I've been talking so much that my camera is telling me it's out of battery but I also haven't charged it for a few days. So I'm going to charge my camera and I will see you guys maybe tomorrow, maybe later. I don't know. So <laughs> bye for now. Good morning guys, so I thought I'll just show you what I'm having for breakfast today. So it's sort of like a fruit yogurt bowl and underneath I have this Chobani passion fruit flavored yogurt and then I've just put like kiwi grapes because that's all I have in my fridge at the moment and then some seeds, almonds and chia seeds. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna eat this right now. So another one of my parcels just arrived so I thought I'll sit down here to do a quick little unboxing and also because it's really messy back there. So if I sit on my couch, you'll be able to see the mess. So we're just sitting on the floor. But I got another parcel from my Farfetch order. So let's just open this up. So in here... Oh. <laughs> I think I got way too excited and ripped the box but I'm pretty sure I mentioned a few days ago that I picked up a pair of off-white sunglasses and they're finally here and I'm super excited because the last time I bought a pair of sunglasses was years ago when I went to South Korea for a holiday and I vlogged that trip so if you guys go onto my channel you'll be able to see me buying that pair of sunglasses from the Gentle Monster Store. So I'm so glad that I picked these up. So it comes in this little pouch so there's also a long strap so I guess you can just wear this as a tiny little bag. But in here is the sunglasses. So the style of these sunglasses is called the Virgil glasses and I feel like they look really nice and 
modern and pretty timeless I would say. It comes in a bunch of different colorways on the website but I just decided to go for this all black one and the branding on the side here is black as well. They also have a pair where the branding is in white but I just feel like this looks a little bit more low-key and yeah let's try this on hopefully it suits my face it's definitely a unisex style wait what is my hair doing but yeah this is what it looks like it is quite dark <laughs> which is very good but I'm just trying to see on the viewfinder like what I look like hopefully I look okay but the fit is really good and yeah I'm super happy that I picked this up here you can see that is the off-white branding on the corner and I love them I think they are very very modern and like chic I was actually inspired to pick up the off-white sunglasses when one of you guys left a comment on one of my previous videos saying that you bought a pair of off-white sunglasses from the Farfetch site and when I read that comment I was like I actually feel like I should look at the off-white sunglasses so um, let me find that comment. So shout out to David Williams because he mentioned he picked up the off-white sunglasses from the Farfetch site and that actually inspired me to look at some sunglasses, um, off-white sunglasses on the Farfetch site as well. So because of him, I um, ended up picking these up and I think they look really, really cool and I feel like the price point is really good and I love the quality of the glasses. They feel super sturdy and you guys can see there's the off-white branding here on the inside and I feel like, okay, Virgil named these <laughs> the Virgil glasses. So for someone to name the glasses after himself, I feel like it's definitely a signature piece for the brand and I'm gonna try it on again. I'm really, really happy with them and I now feel like I wanna pick up more colorways, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, let me see what else is in the box. So the box is in that signature off-white like pastel green kind of color. They also give you a cleaning cloth, which is really nice. So super, super happy with this purchase. I actually won the raffle um, for the Yeezy Foam Runners in the mineral blue colorway, which I'm really, really excited. I got the email. Um, yesterday so I am going to wait for that to arrive hopefully I get it this week so I can include it in this vlog this vlog is pretty much just an unboxing of things I've picked up so I hope you guys are enjoying it so far um, but yeah right now uh, I don't know I feel like every segment of the video I'm just like I don't know what I'm doing guys but yeah I'll see you soon so I'm back with a few more parcels to unbox together with you guys today and I am burning my A Cold Wall candle behind me and I've been enjoying it so much. I lit it, no, light it, no, I lit it for <laughs> the first time yesterday. Lit it? Wait. Anyway, um, I was burning my candle for the first time yesterday and I really like the scent. It definitely is a woody, rose, spicy kind of scent and I think it's super aromatic and it's not overpowering as well so yeah I just have it there today and I thought I'll continue on my unboxing. Guys I promise this is the last three boxes that I am expecting this week um, so yeah let's just go ahead and open it up and I even like look at this I'm prepared all right we don't need to do that centering thing anymore because it's just too much work so let's just go ahead and rip this open so in here is let me have a look so it's from a store called Voga I can't quite remember exactly which country this got shipped from because I took out the shipping label but it came from the Netherlands and let's just rip this open it is it is a pair of pants I completely forgot that I <laughs> bought this but it is a pair of pants from the brand ARMY and I absolutely love this brand. So ARMY, hold on, this paper <laughs> is making too much sound. So ARMY stands for friends in French. Wait, did that make sense? Yeah, friends in French. The designer is Alexander Matusi. I feel like I'm doing a very terrible job at pronouncing his name, but I absolutely love this brand. If you guys haven't checked out anything from Army Paris, I highly recommend you do. I feel like it is such a nice 
timeless classic brand in terms of the silhouette and the material, the fit and the quality of the garments. I feel like they're totally worth it. This pants is part of the women's line I'm pretty sure and I got this in a size small so I cannot wait to try it on but looking at this I feel like this would look so good on. I really love all the paneling and you guys can see on this side there are like some pockets and it gives it sort of a workwear kind of a vibe but at the same time super polished and these would look so good with any of my sneakers really and when I got this I had my medium curry dunks in mine and yeah I cannot wait to put a fit together with these pants so very happy about these with most of the army stuff based on experience <laughs> based on items that I have in the past they tend to be true to size for me they are certain ones that maybe fit a little bit more boxy but in general, I would say they're true to size. They do have a men's line and a women's line, but you guys know that all my outfits are pretty much unisex. I tend to buy a lot of like men's tops and stuff, but when it comes to pants, um, I thought I'd go for the women's pants because I am not very tall, so sometimes uh, it is a little bit tricky when I buy men's pants. But moving on to this very, very big parcel. Um, this is my final Farfetch parcel, I promise, guys. Even the concierge at my apartment noticed that I have a lot of parcels because I just left them to accumulate downstairs um, and I didn't pick them up. And when I went to pick them up, finally he was like, you have so many parcels and I even picked up my um, parcel from up there today with my firm runners which I will unbox shortly but I'm going on a complete tangent again let's just go ahead and unbox the very last box this is such a huge box that they sent I think I remember what's in here because for some reason those army pens caught me by surprise I think I was on the side and I couldn't decide if I should get them, if that makes any sense. Cause I was like, oh, maybe I have too many pairs of pants. But at the same time, I realized I don't really have any pants in that color. I personally think that it's good to invest in higher quality items if you know you're gonna wear them a lot. But let me go ahead and open this box up. I have it upside down. <sighs> let me show you guys what's in here. Ta-da! So, <laughs> it really is such a huge box, guys. Look at this. And in here, did I show you my address again? Anyway, that's the packing slip. So in here is two more items from Ami, and I was on this green wave when I picked up both of these items. This hoodie feels so cozy, and the material is really thick, and they definitely fall really nicely when you have it on, so... Yeah guys, I cannot say enough good things about ARMY as a brand, quality, price point, um, just A plus all the way through. I realized that I don't have any green hoodies in my wardrobe. I think I have like a pastel green Nike NRG one, which is exactly like this but in a different color. But I don't have like a deep green color and I got this in a size small. And I will make sure to list and link everything in the description bar below so you guys can check it out. And also, don't forget to use my discount code so you guys can save 10% off. And this comes in a bunch of different colors as well. There is a really nice gray one. I think there's like a beigey tan kind of color. I could be wrong, but you guys just check out the site if you don't want to cop a green one. But I feel like this color is just really nice. And wait, I was going to tell you guys the material of this because it does feel really nice and heavyweight and it's 100% cotton. I just love heavyweight hoodies. So this one here, for example, is the Nike NRG one. And I'm wearing this in a size medium, but I put it in the dryer and it shrunk a little bit, which is a good thing because I may have gotten a size that's a little bit too big. So I feel like it shrunk a little bit and now it's my size. I am tempted to get this in a baby blue color because I want to wear my chunky donkey dunks. But anyway, <laughs> that is not related to this. Um, but I will also link this if you guys are interested, if I can still find it, because I got it quite a while ago. Um, but yeah, this is 
a really nice green hoodie and then this is a little bit different I have not worn a cardigan in a really really long time but I thought I'll just go for a different kind of look and again I just thought this color looked really nice and when I got this cardigan I had the green glow junks in mind so even though I don't have those sneakers I was already planning the outfit so I don't know what I was thinking. Pretty sure those dunks dropped earlier for you guys in the States or in the EU. Um, but here in Australia, I think Nike did a raffle for them last week and I forgot to enter. I'm still hoping to get a pair. But meanwhile, let me show you guys this green... I was gonna say green glow cardigan. No, that's not the name. But that is what I had in mind. And also, sorry, I chucked the pants on the floor but would this not be such a great fit with this cardigan and these pants and just like a nice white t-shirt? I think that is just such a nice, cozy, classic kind of look. This is definitely a unisex item and I got this in a size small as well. And again, this comes in a bunch of different colors. The material just feels so thick and nice and because of the weight of the material, it just makes the garment fall really nicely when you have it on. So I'm very, very excited to wear these with my future green glow dunks that I don't have. So if any of you guys managed to cop a green glow dunk in a size women's eight, please let me know because I really want a pair. I feel like it would look so, so good with this cardigan. The composition of this cardigan is 71% cotton, 17% polyamide and 12% wool. And it just feels really great. So again, I'll show you guys some B-roll. I cannot wait to wear all of this. Like even the pants with this hoodie would look so, so great. So I'm very excited to put together some fits with my new pickups and okay. My very last item that I want to unbox today. I feel like this vlog is very, very long. So I hope you guys are still watching and I need to look for my Stanley knife. Hold on. It's hiding on, oh no, wait. <laughs> I thought it's hiding under the pile of clothes, but it's just here. And the very last thing is my foam runners that I picked up from Up There store. And you guys know that Up There is one of my favorite stores here in Melbourne. And in here is a little congratulations card that's up there. And then, did I mention this is the mineral blue colorway? I'm pretty sure I did a few days ago when I told you guys that I won the raffle. So I still have not seen one in person. So I'm very, very excited. You guys know that I personally love the foam runners. And this is the mineral blue colorway and it is a very very deep blue it's almost black actually and with the images actually yeah i can see it with the images it does look like it has that marble kind of effect where you can see like blue and navy and when i look at it like <laughs> this close i can see it. let me get the other side out to show you guys but from afar it just looks like one flat color. I don't know whether it's the lighting in my apartment that I can't really see um, that whole marble effect but I don't think it is a bad look. I feel like these pretty much just look like a very deep blue to me from afar. Hopefully it's translating on camera and you guys can see what it looks like in terms of the color but I love them because with my foam runners I wear the Ararat colorway a lot but it is obviously a lighter color I tend to style the Ararat colorway with lighter toned clothing so I'm so glad that I have these and I was so happy when I got the email that I won the raffle because I just love the foam runners so much I know not everybody's into them but I feel like it's growing on people and I find them to be really comfy. So I got this in a men's US 6 which is my true to size and they fit really good and I like to wear my foam runners with socks always. I'm sure you can wear it without but I don't know. I just like wearing socks with like my footwear. I also realized that I never did an actual unboxing of the moon grey foam runners on my YouTube channel, which I'm very sorry about guys. I think I just got so focused on the Yeezy 450s that I completely neglected these because they pretty much released about the same time and I just was so into the 450s that I completely forgot to show you guys the moon grey colorway. So this is what it looks like. 
you guys can see it has the marbled effect and with these foam runners in comparison to the first colorway which is the Ararat colorway these are made in China instead of the States so with the OG pair that one is produced in the States but they kind of feel the same to me I noticed when I first unboxed the moon grey it did smell a little bit funky I don't know whether it has to do with the paint or the material they have used um, but I just remember that it had a bit of a scent yeah that's all I remember it doesn't smell weird now or anything but I just remember unboxing it and I was like oh there's a certain odor <laughs> to these sneakers but these ones I know this is a bit weird but I'm smelling my shoes but these ones smell fine and they are really lightweight and comfortable and I also cannot say enough good things about the foam runners I really really love them and I cannot wait to see these and more different colorways and the dark tone I think looks super cool so I will definitely be wearing this a lot even though they're really easy to maintain and clean, I think a dark colorway, you can't really go wrong there. So yeah, super happy that I picked these up. These are the moon graves just to show you guys again. To be honest, I was kind of struggling to come up with some fits for this particular colorway, but it's pretty neutral. So I think, you know, just wear some nice like dark gray truck pants and a neutral fit and you should be good. So yeah, guys. Uh, that is pretty much it for this vlog slash unboxing video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and you know if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you liked any of the things that I mentioned in this video check the description bar below because I've linked everything including what I wore so this hoodie for example I will try my best to link it but I think you can still get it in different colors so I'll link that instead and yeah it does fit quite oversized keep that in mind so when I got this in a medium initially it was quite big so yeah, maybe size down if you don't want it to be too oversized. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, we are still in lockdown here in Melbourne. And I don't know whether they're going to extend it. But if they do, that's okay. I'll just, you know, stay home and continue my flex from home kind of thing. But anyway, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And hopefully in the next video, you see me with some green glow dunks with my army cardigan because that is the fit that i envisioned when i picked up this cardigan so hopefully we can make that happen um but yeah guys i will see you guys really really soon bye